seven, y'all. have a special guest who may or may not drive me crazy but I can deal with it because we never get to hang out guess who it is it's me we got a babysitter two days a week so I actually get to come and do some stuff but we're headed to closing and then another closing and I'll probably get some Starbucks in between we're back as a team y'all but some things never change. How in the world am I stuck in the back seat of my own car? How in the world did I get stuck driving? I actually love it. I was born for this, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in the back again. I just take a back seat to everything in my business, pretty much. Sometimes, literally, I'm in the back seat. We bought a house. Now we're coming to look at it, and Molly's never even seen it. Never seen it. We just closed on it this morning, so. That's pretty crazy. Here we are. Open, parking floors. It's not bad. It doesn't even smell that bad. <laughs> I wish the camera had a smell o meter. It is. Oh, yes. I like that. Let's keep that. All I thought was to just not put a header in and sit. Yep. We, we, if we take this off, I mean, okay, if it's broke, we have to. But I didn't see anywhere it was broke. We were thinking you could take all over. All right. So it's coming it's out. It's coming out. Cool. Which is drywall. Room. Person who buys this house, you will thank me. Yeah. You know, Brittany and I said this house thing. This is why you don't paint rooms this color or colors like this. I'm depressed in here. It is so dark. Yeah. Scott had to turn the light on the camera thing up as high as it would go. Yeah, I think I'm not going to keep that one actually. This is a killer location. Yeah, it is. This will sell. The style house. This will sell pretty quick. We're here at another house in St. Albans because we're taking over. I've never seen it before, but it's really cute. This is what we get when we buy houses a lot of the time we closed on it today. So this is all ours now to do with what we would like, which will probably consist of a dump trailer. It's actually a really cute house on the outside and I'm sure that it will be adorable in here when we get it finished, but it's hard to have vision when there's this much stuff in here and you kind of get bombarded with the smell. One thing we've learned, never open a refrigerator, ever. Definitely need some work. That looks like a fire hazard. I love these. We get these in all kinds of houses. The little phone box in the wall. I always leave them. You can put some little tchotchke in there. <laughs> we talk about how gross it is in these houses, but it's also really sad because um, the woman that had this house, she had Alzheimer's. So, you know, things that we typically don't think about, they have to think about or have to make notes to themselves. So. Stuff like that, you know, it makes us happy to fix up houses, but it's also sad for, I guess, the previous owner's family or um, when they see when they see these houses. We love to get them done. We love to show them to who owned them before, see that we bring it back to life. So we can't wait to get this one done. You know, Molly is exactly right. For us, when we started our business, flipping houses what it was what it was all about. Whether it's ending a chapter or starting a new one, we take great pride in being able to be a huge part of that for people. And we are walking distance from one of our new flips that we have started, so why not check it out? What do you think, Fred? Uh, it's okay. What do you think? That's the most important thing. What is Molly thing? What is the, what is the boss thing? Looks good. Going downhill right here. 
my wife say, well, thank God I don't have a wife anymore. He called me all hours of the day and said, Frank, can you go over here, over there, over there, over there? And then say, hey, you know you're a little behind on this project here. What's, you know, what's the problem? I don't see. Hey, I don't take seven today. The distance is? No. You know what I mean? This side is a little wider. Oh, it looks good. Yes, sir. Yes, it does. All right, that day was a wrap. And the visions that were planted in my brain. Oh, hello, hey guys. I am headed to pick up funding for a closing, and we're going to a closing. Then, this is why we're driving big beast is because we have to go pick up a dump trailer and go to the dump and dump said dump trailer and then get gravel so if you think you want to be us make sure you watch the rest of today because I'm not sure you're gonna to want to be us by the end of the day made me famous. Tyler, how can I ever repay? Guys, the man, the myth, <laughs> the legend. He's actually not even a myth anymore. Nah. Tighter than a banjo string back there, I'll just say that. So, uh, yeah, I don't like the dump trailer. Sorry, I still don't. You want to go to the dump, huh? We get to put your hard hat and your vest on. Oh, yeah! Get you dumb! <laughs> Man, I am so cool. I was just at the dump. Very rarely do I get Scott to do things other than video, but today he is helping me try to figure out where the scale guy is to measure our gravel. Got to get up in the truck. Dude, the thing is, it's a one-shot run. When I get to the end, if I still have gravel in there, unless I back up and you tell me, back up, I'm just going to be pulling gravel. Just remember the time that one load wasn't enough? I thought we needed two tons and we got two and a half and it still wasn't enough. Have I mentioned that I don't like the dump trailer? Cause I don't. So only because I love Joshua Heyman, am I still getting gravel. This is the kind of stuff that I like to do. We have a new supplier coming to the office to show us cabinet supplies, and I think it's gonna be awesome. We're excited about it, so hopefully the connection with us and them works out. And on the journey of episode seven, we have one more stop that we have to show you guys. Here you go. This is West Virginia Structural for you. So 600 and then another um, six, so 1200. So 1200 times 2.25, 1200 times two is 2400. So let's just say 2600. Okay. I don't have no fingers for that. I wish you guys could smell in here, but let me just show you real quick. This open toilet supply line would smell like a uh, bluegill that you caught and forgot to unhook off your line for about two weeks in August in a campground on your camper porch. Yeah, jot that down. It today, I'm tired, but I like this house. I know you guys are mad. That's all we got for episode seven. We have to save some footage because the next episode we have already started filming 
And we literally, I think, closed six houses in that segment of footage. So we have a ton of projects going on. I know I say it all the time, but it is true. We've never been busier. I hope you guys enjoy watching our chaos. And please remember, to all your friends, family, colleagues, and some dudes you just saw down the street getting Dairy Queen, we buy houses for cash, any size, any condition, in Kanawha, Jackson, Putnam, Cabell, and Wood counties. We are back in Parkersburg area. So visit us on the web, check out our Facebook, share this video with your friends, laugh, comment, tell us what you'd love to see. We'll try to deliver. Peace.